All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So we are here in Inspirata. So we just pretty much toured the first series here. First series that we just toured was the uh, garden. Now we're gonna be touring the Grove. So the Grove's here, we have a total of five models to view at this time. These are all attached like townhomes all together, like five of them on a row. So we're gonna start here on this corner here. Uh, we're gonna start with the largest one. Uh, this one is 1,843 square feet. This one is a two-story, right? You have an option for a three bedrooms to four bedrooms on here. And um, you have two and a half baths, two car garage. The starting price on here is $269,990. Now you do have a couple elevations to choose from where you can pick and choose, uh, you know, the exterior as far as the uh, type of stone here. It is a little bit dark in the camera here, I do apologize. But as you can see, the terracotta is starting to spall. The reason why is because when it gets cold, that's what happens, okay? I do love the uh, the stone work here. This is not bad for the price for a townhome. Now, let's come through this eight foot door. Let's see what we have here for this townhome. Let me know in the comments below um, if you guys see the value in a townhome, but what I realized is that a townhome to me is worth more than a condo, and a single family residence is gonna go a lot further than a townhome. Now, let's take a look at this thing. So, um, the lot premiums here will go about $9,000, okay? There is some SIDS and LIDS, believe it or not, uh, your SIDS and LIDS for something like this is going to be about $2,500, okay? That's $19 a month. And your HOAs were about $127 a month, but apparently they made some adjustments, so uh, it is going to go a little bit higher. So just keep that in mind. Now, let's take a look at this. Start off with the kitchen already. See what we got on the kitchen side, okay? So we got nine foot ceilings throughout, which is really nice. You got a half inch granite, okay? Now this granite right here is a upgrade at the design studio. This right here, this is a high compositive sink. Um, apparently this is uh, scratch resistant. This is a good sink. This is an upgraded faucet right here which is really nice. So it looks like we have black appliances. However, washer and dryer not included. It does come with a 10 year warranty, but take a look exactly what is your 10 year warranty. You gotta take a look at the windows, the structural and the foundation too as well. Let's take a look at these cabinets. Just stock standard cabinets manufacturer here. I'll show you here. Ah. Uh oh, somebody's calling me. So this one comes, looks like it comes standard with a four inch backsplash on here. This is an upgrade that you can do. Some builders will start to include that with the USB port. Got your stove, Whirlpool. Okay. All right, so now let's come back here, see what we got here. It goes to your two car garage, but this is your laundry room, okay? This is a gas. Now, I do like this, take a look at this. Shows you what's going on here. I don't know if you can see it, but here's your insulation. Uh, normally insulation now comes standard R13 and R30 inside the attic, but I definitely would do the upgrades on the insulation. Now there's a couple insulation options. 
when you do the X steer, if you do the R13 to R15 on the 2x6 on the X steer, it should automatically be upgraded to the R18. I believe it should be required by code for that if you do the upgrade. Also, you can upgrade from R30 inside the attic to R36. Um, but um, also the other thing you want to make sure is it a blown in installation too as well okay I prefer blow blown in installation that just is my preference now they have all type of blown in installation they got the batten or you can also do the uh, the, the, the not the starter foam but the foam also one of the upgrades that you can do is you can insulate your garage However, uh, a lot of people don't ins insulate their garage unless if you work in the garage. Uh, that's more of a preference. It's not a big deal. Also, as far as your interior walls, uh, does not come with insulation. For me, I feel that it works better as far as energy efficient if you do uh, insulate your walls. Now... Also, depending what is your whole purpose of this home, is this just an investment property? There's certain things that you just need to do. I do love this open railing here. Really just really brings it nice and open. Very vibrant, I love, kind of gives you this beach, beachy feel. I do love that. Now let me just kind of show you from this perspective here. Yeah, I do like this, it's cool. All right, so as we come up, we have a loft. This could have been an option, a bedroom, but I don't know if I would make this another bedroom because it just looks so enclosed in. We have eight foot ceilings here. We'll start off on this side. Off to the left, we have our first bedroom, which is nice. It's kind of crazy. The color that you have just changes the the mood so this is a decent sized bedroom here a little bit larger than 12 by 12 all these are six panel doors it's not insulated all stock and standard now normally with townhomes and condos right within the HOA insurance should cover the exterior of the home okay but you're responsible for the interior of the home okay also the other thing that you need to know is that wall right there right this is a wall for the other side of the property find out how thick that wall is and what the insulations are because uh, you don't you want to make sure uh, you can't hear what's going on with your neighbors You do have an option here, I believe, to do two sinks. Make sure your cabinets, again, we talked about this, is not your standard 30-inch cabinets. You want to get that 36 on the cabinets. Tub shower combo, all standard. Here's your toilet. Then across here is just your linen. Okay. Come into the master bath, I mean bedroom here shortly. So with the AC unit here, it does come with a 16 sear unit for energy efficient, which is really great. Oh, you know what? There is LED lights to the interior of the home. That's actually really nice. And the thermostats, uh, it is built off of Wi-Fi, so that's a good thing. Let's come into the bathroom here. Into the bath, all this tile stuff is all an upgrade. So you got your Petrofenia backsplash on the shower here. You have your pan. Oh my gosh, this little... window I'm not your window but your glass door here is so thin it's less than a quarter of an inch 
This should be your water closet. Yes, you got your water closet. Ooh, moving around too fast. Getting you guys dizzy, huh? <laughs> Okay. I mean, that's pretty much it for this tour. Uh, very curious to hear what your comments are. In the link in the description below. Can you see yourself living here? Do you think this is worth the asking price? Seems like town townhomes, they're getting pretty big now. And what I mean by that is... Um, starting to see a lot of builders starting to build townhomes and I, I think the reason why is because of the affordi affordability because the average household income here is only at 51,000 let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property if you can see yourself living here if you don't have a realtor I definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business I'm Chuck it's Crusoe up with Simply Vegas and have a blessed day